one of the thing that really inspired me right away when I met you is music is something that is so embodying you, right? And for me, you're just exuding joy and life and aliveness. It is so intoxicating. So I'm curious to know from your perspective, what are some of the personal practices you have to step into this higher vibration? Well, thank you, CK. I would, I'd have to say that one of the one of the most important things is what you and I did just before we jumped on this this uh, broadcast, and that was a breathing exercise that that you guided me through. But that's something I also do every day. I I have four things that I do. I scrape the tongue. I get up in the morning and I scrape my tongue right when I get get out of bed. That's something that comes from India. It's a very ancient practice, but I think it's very important. The second one is uh, salute the sun, which is a yoga salutation. It's called the sun salutation in yoga. It's uh, 12 different poses. So I do that. In fact, in my studio, I even have a yoga mat behind me. (laughs) And uh, I keep it there. I always have something about having a mat close to where I work. It makes me, it makes me feel guilty if I don't jump on it. Mm. (laughs) So I do that. So, and the third one is uh, breathe. I do reverse nostril breathing. And the fourth one is meditate. So that practice, scrape the tongue, salute the sun, breathe and meditate. I've been doing that for about over 25 years. Amazing. So this is part of your discipline as a way to set up your day. Practice. Yeah, definitely, definite practice. So you mentioned a few things that I had no idea what you were referring to. What's reverse breathing and, and also what kind of meditation do you do specifically? Okay. It's called reverse nostril breathing. Mm-hmm. So it's, it involves the nose it involves the nostrils. And uh, what it is, is you take the, in my case, I take my left hand and I take my left thumb and I cover my left nostril. And then I take my left index finger and I'm going to alternate between my thumb and my index finger. So I put the thumb over the left nostril and I breathe in only through my nose. Then I cover my right nostril with my index finger and I blow out through the other nostril two more times. In, out, in, out. And then when you release it, take a deep breath with both nostrils and you should feel a kind of a rush of oxygen to the brain. Probably a little bit of dopamine and oxytocin too. That helps me a lot, CK. You know, because when you get out of bed, You got gunk in your throat and you got gunk in your brain. You're coming out of sleep. So I don't think you can just, you know, some people in our culture will say, I just need my first cup of coffee and I'm ready to go. I think you got to do more than the coffee. Although I love coffee, don't get me wrong. But I think you got to do, I think you got to awaken the body and awaken the, the lungs and get the air and the oxygen in you. So that's why I do that. I love it. Also from Ayurvedic and India, reverse, uh, you can Google this, reverse nostril breathing. But basically what I shared is the essence of what it is. 